We have a lot of traffic to cover even at 4 a.m. Let's start with a live look at the New Jersey Turnpike. This roadway, it is open right now, but you can see already snow, not a car on the road, thankfully, and that is what we are recommending and advising everyone to do is just stay off the roads. Those plows are trying to clear them as fast as they can. But uh, you know, there's about 6,000 miles of roads they got to get to, so it's going to be a long morning. Lots of road closures to tell you about the most important westbound LIE. It is closed between Little Neck Parkway and Route 25. This is the worst traffic news we've had all morning for anyone who's going to use the outbound lanes of the Lincoln Tunnel. They are all closed right now because of an accident. Governor Cuomo just announced that I-84 is now closed to all vehicle traffic between Pennsylvania and Connecticut. No cars on Interstate 84 allowed whatsoever. If you are found driving out there, you will be ticketed. Light purple, that's snow and ice on the roadways. LIE, Major Deegan, Bruckner Expressway, Grand Central Parkway, they are seeing snow and ice. The red is severe snow and ice. Of course, these roads are still open right now. <laughs> Northbound on the New Jersey Turnpike, there's an accident at exit six. That's creating some delays in both directions. Live look now at the George Washington Bridge at the Toll Plaza. Traffic free and clear in both directions. Lower level, easy pass only for another hour until 6 a.m. There's not a pretty sight very heavy delays on both decks, seeing about 20 to 30 minute delays on the upper deck, lower deck, even worse. You're looking at about 45 minute delays there. Other Hudson River crossings, Lincoln Tunnel set you back about a half an hour as well. Holland Tunnel, 15 to 20 minute delays. There's also a disabled car on 59th Street Bridge. It's westbound on the lower level, and that is blocking one Everyone, lane. 4 a.m., not usually a lot of traffic now, so we headed out to Terrytown where there will be traffic, unfortunately, for the next four years because of construction that started yesterday on the Tappan Zee Bridge. You can see it behind me and we are here for really the first official morning rush hour now that this has been closed. Yesterday at 10 a.m. is when the closures went into effect. Still major issues on the subway to tell you about. No four, five and six trains are running between Brooklyn City Hall and Grand Central. It's because of some police activity there. Five trains are running on the two line between Grand Central and Nevin Street. Yeah. There's an overturned tractor trailer. It's at Atlantic Avenue and it's blocking all of the eastbound lanes. You can see all those police lights back there. Uh, there's also fuel leaking onto the westbound lanes. Only one westbound lane is closed right now, the far left westbound lane, but all eastbound lanes are closed. Traffic at a complete standstill. This is going to be a huge issue for people who use the BQE this morning. England, and I know you guys were talking about April Fool's jokes. Did you hear the one about the Second Avenue subway opening overnight? Major news kind of. There's a little truth to it, a little a little farce. We'll tell you about that in a second, but first, let's get to your traffic, starting with a live look at Route 3. As you can see, it is clear right now. The Staten Island crossings, Bayonne, Gothels, and Outer Bridge are also clear. Southbound, though, there's an accident on the thruway. It's near exit 13. It's blocking the shoulder, and alternate side parking rules are in effect. Now, what we're talking about is the car service Uber. They made an announcement that overnight that second avenue subway was finished what they mean is they're offering a pretty sweet deal for people who want to get up and down second avenue and we're going to try it out in just a few minutes Corey and suki all right can't wait to see how